So this whole situation needs to be rectified because this is kind of a disaster. So for context, my area is pretty small. I think it's by like nine by seven feet or about the size of my average parking space. So as a result, it gets dirty or messy rather really, really easily. So I think the first thing I need to do is just tackle these piles of clothes that need to be put away. For the most part, the floor actually isn't that bad. I just again have a couple items that need to be put away and I do need to vacuum it as well. So I just dusted the top of that candle jar off because that's where I was going to put my um, camera and yeah, that's how dusty it was. So I think I need to give things a good wipe down as well. Okay, so I'm going to tackle this pile of clothes and then I'm going to tackle the other pile of clothes and I'm going to out the frame and then over here are my um like collection of plushies i keep on my bed they've kind of the problem with uh, my mattress is i have a lot of cardboard boxes stored underneath my mattress so basically in between the mattress and bed frame so it causes the mattress to slide everywhere but i don't have anywhere else to put these cardboard boxes as i plan to use them like for future crafts just storing things potentially shipping things if i finally get my etsy shop up so for now, they're just going to stay that way. So first we have Ramen San. I actually won him at an amusement park on my first try. I really was not expecting that. You had to throw a, a dart at balloons. You had to like pop three of them to get him specifically. And I managed to do that on my first try, which is really shocking because I have a horrible aim. Then I have my bee, my beautiful bee. This is actually made by a artist i um i saw her work at a, a local con in the artist alley and i really liked her plushie so i got myself a bee and then this is my jellyfish he's a very handsome lad he is distinguished his name is jaron and he likes to juggle okay oh also i have a stash of library books here as well oh and <laughs> i ordered this book off of ebay i still haven't opened it so i need to do that later but for now, we're going to focus on the clothes. So, put these guys back. first pile has been completely folded including my socks and my beanie and uh, this doesn't count because it still has tags on it so I need to cut that off and then throw that in the wash and so the way it works is, is I actually don't have my clothes in my area because it is so small they're stored in drawers nearby and then my hanging clothes are in the laundry room and now it's time to tackle the other pile the other other pile
now that the clothes have been conquered and put in their place, I'm just going to try and clear up the floor next. So I need to empty my recycling bin because that is very full. Um, let me see. This is a random bucket of slime sand that I bought on a whim because it was on clearance. Probably not the wisest purchase out there. But, uh, hello. Okay, so I actually keep my com. Wow. My converse here. So these, along with these, are my most worn shoes. Uh, the boots, the rain boots, need to go into the sunroom. This backpack I've actually been meaning to give to my mom. And this should not be on the floor. And these are library books, which they were originally propped up and then they completely fell over. So to be honest, I've never really had a place to properly store my library books as my bookshelf is really full. So I'm going to stick them here for now. They'll cooperate. There we go. Also, I do need to vacuum my floor as well. Oh, and then there is a pair of shoes under here that needs to be put up. <sighs> yeah, the floor really does need to be vacuumed. Oh, now it's disgusting. Okay, I actually figured out where I want these to go. I'm going to put them in the uh, same area where I store my laptop. See, that's one thing about living in such a small space is it's a puzzle. You have to figure out how to make things work. And here's a really good example of just how puzzle-like it can get. Now with this uh, drawer set right here, it is on wheels. So if I need to access any of the drawers back here, I can just pull it forward. And, and the items in these drawers I have not accessed in months just because it's mainly long-term storage. And these are actually some of my Aizawa wigs, and they need to be put up properly. Oh gosh. I kind of keep my wigs in a almost file-like system. Every single wig is labeled, and then I sort of drop them down like pieces of paper. So I'm trying to do that now. Admittedly, it's hard with just one hand, so honestly I'm probably going to have to put up the camera and do this off camera. Here in my side table is where I normally store my laptop. This is my sewing kit and then my art supplies, but they do have places they can go. So I'm going to move those out, put the books in there, and then stick the laptop on top of it. And then when it comes to this cubby, it's really just my makeup mirror, my mouse pad. So I can put the sand in here and I'll have a spot. And hang on a second. There. Floor has been cleaned. I'm just gonna move this chair out of the way. Now the thing with this chair, it just holds two of my throw pillows, so luckily that's not anything that has to be put away or dealt with. floor cleaned up I'm now going to tackle my side table and as you can see it has not been touched in quite some time because it's now October also I uh, strung some twine along the top and then clipped up some of my favorite stickers oh and there is my cool alarm clock which is a surprisingly good alarm clock definitely recommend table is clean and now I'm going to tackle my desk 
And actually, surface-wise, it's basically all I have left. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything off the desk, move it here. Everything that does not belong to the desk is going to get taken off, put here, and then I'm going to put everything away once it's all in one big pile. I don't know why, but mentally it's just easier for me to declutter that way. I'm currently tackling my desk and uh, kind of forgot about this random toge wig. Um, so that needs to be put up to the appropriate location. Okay, so the desk is now clean. So now I just have this pile to deal with. Which honestly, I can probably get it done in about 20, 20 minutes. I'm guessing there are certain items that need to be taken out of my room and put in other places of the house. Box right here. Uh, full of some stuff, so I do need to go through that, so... That's one of the few things left. And then after that, I just need to change my bed sheets and my room shall be complete. my space all cleaned up so I'm gonna give a brief tour or overview of the space now that it's been all spiffyified and also I'm a big fan of befores and afters so of course I was going to include the after so here we have the bed we have this side table the desk also I did find a solution for my library books however I have a couple more that I need to pick up and they are not going to fit in there so I'll have to figure something out the desk the drawers. The shelves. So honestly the shelves weren't messy. It's very just organized clutter. The floor. The floor is so much cleaner now. Like I can actually traverse my space. And that's basically it just because my area is really small so there's not much uh, to show. But uh, thank you for watching.